I initially started this video a little annoyed at 343 Industries for their blatant disregard for established Halo lore, but after a quick Google search I realized they'd pulled a fast one on me. Spartan 3 program is one of my favorite aspects of Halo, so when I saw the Mirage IIC armor roll out for Infinite, I was ecstatic. I was initially confused because I assumed it would be the traditional SPI armor worn by so many Spartan 3s from the books, but it turns out it's an SPI armor variant retrofitted to be suitable on the Mjolnir Gen 3 platform. I was also confused because, like the Rakshasha armor from Season 2, there's no fusion pack on the back of the armor. It was established as far back as Halo CE that the fusion pack that powers the Mjolnir exosuit is located on the rear of the armor, either on the back side of the torso or in the apparatus where the magnetic clamps for weapons are near the shoulders. So where's the fusion pack for the Mirage armor? Turns out it was an intentional design option to keep in line with the original purpose of the SBI armor, a cheaper alternative to Mjolnir. The Mirage's reactor is built into the tech suit, being covered by the chest piece. Perhaps this is the same for the Rakshasha armor, which would allow for unaugmented soldiers to wear it as well. That's all for now, Halo fans. Catch you next time.